திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் தீஞ்சுவையாகினர் திருவுள்ள மதனுக்கு திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் தீஞ்சுவையாகினர் திருவுள்ள மதனுக்கு திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் தீஞ்சுவையாகினர் திருவுள்ள மதனுக்கு திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் திருவிருக்கதோ புலியூரில் சிவன் திருப்புகையழிலிட்டு நினம் பாடும் திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் திருவிருக்கதோ புலியூரில் சிவன் திருப்புகையழிலிட்டு நினம் பாடும் திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் சோழ நாட்டில் சிவத்தலங்களை சேர்ந்து சேவித்து பாண்டி நாடடைந்து சோழ நாட்டில் சிவத்தலங்களை சேர்ந்து சேவித்து பாண்டி நாடடைந்து யாழுடும் துணாயில் எந்தன் சோ கேசரை வாழி என்று பாட வந்தது பொற்பலகை திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் யாழுடும் துணாயில் எந்தன் சோ கேசரை வாழி என்று பாட வந்தது போர்பலகை திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாணர் வன்மீகநாதரை திருவாரூரினில் வணங்க வடதிசையில் வாயில் வகுக்க வன்மீகநாதரை திருவாரூரினில் வணங்க வடதிசையில் வாயில் வகுக்க பின் சீர்காழியில் ஞான சம்பந்தர் பெரும் திருவடிகளை அடைந்து வணங்க திருநீல கண்ட யார் பாண பாசமற்று சம்பந்தர் பதிகத்தை பாடி நல்லூர் பெருமணத்தில் பாசமற்று சம்பந்தர் பதிகத்தை பாடி நல்லூர் பெருமணத்தில் கேசவன் போற்றிடும் ஈசன் பாதங்களை கேசவன் போற்றிடும் ஈசன் பாதங்களை கண்டு கழிக்கவே கருத்துடன் சென்ற கேசவன் போற்றிடும் ஈசன் பாதங்களை கண்டு கழிக்கவ கருத்துடன் சென்ற திருநீல கண்ட 
யாழ்ப்பாணர் தீஞ்சுவையாகினர் திருவுளமரனுக்கு திருநீல கண்ட யாழ்ப்பாணர் திருநீல கண்ட யாழ்ப்பாண A final thought on Periya Puranam. In some quarters, the reading of Periya Puranam is not encouraged because some of the stories of the 63 Nayanmars in Periya Puranam contain some instances of extreme form of physical harm or the occurrence of some supranormal incidents. We believe these instances have to be looked at as devotion to or belief in the Lord of extreme levels, not merely as some unacceptable incidents. Apart from a few instances depicted in these stories already published, here are some interesting references that we would like to share. 1. From the book Day by Day with Bhagavan, published by Sri Ramanashramam, Snippet Dated 5-6-1945 Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi recalled the incident in which an old Harijan woman accosted him on one of 
his rambles on the rough jungle path down the hill and remarked unnai paadayil vaikka ore edathil sevane endru irukka koodada curse on you why can't you stay quiet in a single place bhagavan said yes this is very good advice and also slapped his own cheeks as if in punishment for not having known what the woman taught then two from chapter 7 of sri mushna brahmani once in kailash sirutonda nayanar approached nandi and sought permission to see the lord his voice beamed with pride recollecting his past merit and present status then lord shiva the witness of everything decided to remove sirutonda's conceit on the pretext of visiting the astral world shiva with sirutonda came to sri mushnam near virudachalam which place was dominated by vaishnavites seeing the vibhuti on their foreheads no house in the town was prepared to feed them finally a smartha lady living at the edge of the town gave them a hearty welcome and fed them with great devotion the story goes that she killed her own son unfortunately by the time the duo came back after taking a bath in the river this story bears a similarity with sirutonda's own earthly incidents then lord shiva compares the two incidents of the smartha lady and sirutonda and conveys the message that one should not puff up one's own pride more details of this incident can be found in chapter 73 of the english version of shiva bhakta vilasam published by sri ramanashramam 3 from sundaramurthi nayana's life chapter 67 of shiva bhakta vilasam when sundarar broke his promise to sangili nachiyar and proceeded to tiruvarur he lost his eyesight completely and was also afflicted with leprosy later in kutalam he took a bath in the temple tank and got rid of his leprosy thenceforth the place earned the name of kushthalam or kutalam in tamil meaning remover of leprosy four from the book talks with sri ramana maharshi published by sri ramana ashramam talk number 335 dated 20th january 1937 sri bhagavan related how nakirar a sangha poet faced the wrath of shiva on questioning some composition of shiva in tamil how he was taken captive by a spirit and afterwards released nakira was doing tapas on the banks of a tirtha a leaf fell down from a tree half the leaf touched the water and the other half was on the ground suddenly the water half became a fish and the land half became a bird each of them was united to the other by the leaf and struggled to get into their own elements nakira was watching it in wonder and suddenly a spirit came down from above and carried him away to a cave where there were already 999 captives all of whom were tapo bhrashtas that is those who have fallen from their austerities bhagavan continued to say how nakira composed tirumurugattu padai and obtain the release of all the thousand prisoners including himself om namo bhagavate sri ramanaya this is the last of the videos in the series on 63 nine mars based on the poetical work of one kesava mudaliyar this project has been a long one spanning over 6 months and 67 videos all the contributors in the making of these videos have put in hours upon hours of dedicated work albeit 
each one working independently at different times. For each of us, I am certain, our effort has been a tapas in its own way. Some of us did their work, not knowing it was for making a series of videos on 63 Nine Mars, but the inspiration came from one person, the real ideator, who gathered all the pieces together for making the videos. I am referring to 1. The coordinator 2. The person who rendered the songs 3. The person who travelled for months to various temples in South India recording videos as an amateur 4. The person who helped out in the translation work Finally, I jumped into the frame to combine all the elements, edit and upload them as YouTube videos. It has verily been a spiritual journey with all the trappings of some highs and few lows imposed on us by the Lord. We are grateful to all devotees of Lord Shankara, however many or few who have taken the time to follow these videos. Their viewership had given us the energy to keep going, not that we would have abandoned the project otherwise. The comments of some viewers have been like elixir, especially some which were very scholarly with rare details and references to the lives of the 63 Nine Mars. Our thanks to each and every one, especially to Miss Divya Sundar, whose renditions set off this series. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramanaya